All right, my guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special review and a special episode on the Drone Camps channel, mainly because this box came in and you guys are a direct result of this box showing up at my address. So I am super excited to reveal to you guys this week my silver award for reaching 100,000 subscribers on the channel. So I want to say thank you and uh, two thumbs up to everybody who watches and subscribes to the Camps channel over the years, uh, or even if you're brand new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing and getting me to this milestone. It is really, really awesome. And I just really, I, I want to say a, an honest thank you to everyone. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to become a Patreon, you can check out that link below. You can download the Patreon app to your phone and then we can talk person to person on the Patreon um, right there on the app like privately back and forth. If you have any questions about quadcopters or FPV or anything under the sun in the RC hobby, I will try to get back to you and answer that with uh, over 20 years experience in, in this hobby. So uh, FPV for as long as it's pretty much been around, I've been putting cameras on flying machines, but um, yeah, it's, it's really beneficial and it's like a dollar a month. Plus they'll get entered, entered to win in the Tiny Hawk drawing at the end of this month and for the Ishin trash can, giving both of those quads away on the channel. And we're going to do a reveal of this plaque coming up soon. You can see I haven't even opened it yet. It's still sitting here, not opened. Um, and I'm going to open it for you guys live on the channel. We're going to do a video and uh, um, I'm just going to show you what this is all about, but super excited it's here. But today it's all about the 349 NX. Um, you're watching this because you want to see an honest opinion about the new Diatone 349X. Um, there's a 249 also and a 239. And, and I've already done a review on the carbon frame one sitting over there. That's a black edition one. And I also have this one, which I, I believe that was the 239. There's so many different numbers. Um, but we're going to do a review on this one coming up too. It's got that polycarbonate frame on here. We'll see how tough and durable that is. But man, this quad right here. Okay, stop what you're doing and pay attention to this video because this quad right here, it's like $140 and it flies better than almost any quad I've ever had my hands on. And you're going to see when the flight test comes up, you're going to see how crazy I got with this quad. The first two or three batteries I flew this thing. If I was flying this all the time, I might end up being like the next Sharpu or something on the channel or like, you know, I'll get to Mr. Steel level with this quad because this flight controller is so locked in. It's crazy. You can Matty flip it. You can do any type of freestyle maneuver you want with this. And it's a smaller three inch compact format that will really let you get away with a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, the power setup on this with a 4S, 4, no, 4S uh, 850 tattoo battery, perfect power to weight ratio on this quad hands down one of the best three inches of all time absolutely and i would go as far as to say it flies better than some of the five inch quads that i've had on the channel uh, because of that light power to weight ratio the, the power ratio is way high it's super floaty and light and it has mad control low to the ground so um, tons of control maneuverability crazy punch out which you're going to see coming up you won't believe the punch out on this uh, with 4s and uh, we'll talk about more of the specifics on this particular build and what Diatone has set up here for you guys. When they first told me they were doing some new stuff for the end of 2018, early 2019, I got super excited because whenever Diatone announces anything, it's usually going to be some pretty good high quality stuff. Um, so you can expect that we're going to have something that flies decent. And man, this is a locked in quad. Uh, if there's another three inch out there, that flies as good as this one does, I would be very, very surprised. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's strap on a uh, 4S 850 on there and let's go out and do some line of sight with this little quad. And after that, I'm gonna show you guys some FPV. It will blow your mind. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this quad up in the air. I put some new HQ props on there. These are the three inch, uh, three by four actually, a little less pitch than the stock props that came along with this quad. I think it's going to give us a little battery battery performance, but uh, we'll find out soon. So let's go ahead and get this one up in the air. It's looking really, really good and all the specs look great on this. So it should be a good review. Here we go. 
All right, here we go. Feels awesome on the throttle already. Feels really, wow. That looks good. Plenty of hang time. Crazy, crazy nimble. I'm gonna try not to put it in a mud puddle. Man, those orange, those uh, green props are really helping out today. Wow. That is one of the best 3S punch outs I've seen. I almost lost sight of it. That's crazy. I don't want to do that again. So you guys saw the punch out. The punch out looks really, really good. So I'm going to play around. Man, it just wants to go up and up and up. There's a whole bunch of mud puddles in front of me that I'll probably find. So we'll just keep, uh, keep it in a little bit closer. Man, the line of sight is awesome. So this is looking really, really good, you guys. And uh, I, I think we're going to have to just jump right into some FPB because what I have here looks like another five star quad uh, i was kind of expecting this from this quad looking at it on the bench seeing some of the other reviews they all look good the 1408 motors on here with a 4s battery is next level so here we go let's go ahead and put it down and get into some fpv all right guys let's go let's go guys here we go all right my guys let's go ahead and get this quad in the air this is my first battery the 4S 850s on here. I'm just cruising across the field, checking out the throttle, do my first little power punch over top of that light pole. And I'm realizing that this quad feels really locked in. More so than some of the other three inch quads out there, the TS-130, this is a different animal altogether. This is feeling like a really high quality quad. And uh, I'm gonna test it on all angles, a little bit of freestyle, low to the ground racing for you guys. and. Um, See how much control I have, as well as some really hard maneuvers to, to check out how locked in this flight controller is as far as um, putting a lot of G-Force on the frame and seeing if there's any stutter or any type of uh, what we would call prop wash. And that's going to make the camera jitter as I come back around from a really hard maneuver. Something like this would cause prop wash coming back around and completely smooth around all the axes, even boosting up over these trees right here. Not enough throttle and I kissed the ground right there. Uh, did a little bounce and recovered, but man, look at that snap. That yaw snap is crazy. Over the trees for a split S and back under the trees with total control. And I, I can just experiment and do anything I want with this quad, or I can take it up and fly high and smooth, fast and low to the ground. I can spot things really well with that camera. And there I went and kissed the ground again. But it's, it's a really lightweight to power combo and I love that because that is what feels nice in the air and it lets me kind of uh, experiment and try new things. There's a little test around that tree that we did uh, for a little orbit back over this light pole. And there's tons of water everywhere so um, normally I wouldn't take too much chances like this with a quad that I didn't trust uh, over top of mud puddles and things. But right here, just a few flips around that soccer goal it's feeling completely locked in i feel like I could, I could loop this quad all day long it's so much fun to fly and this is the thing about a quad that feels great on your fingers is that you can you feel like you can get away with anything there's that throttle boost i mean i was up 150 feet within a mass a couple um, a split second there this thing has a massive punch out and i i just love it i just keep Really, I'm just banging on the sticks to, to try to see if I can interrupt that flight controller and, and get it to to kind of freak out on us. And it's it's not, it handles anything I throw at it. And I'm throwing everything I've got at this flight controller and this power setup. And it did not fail me at any in any type of maneuver. If you have a failure in, some, in the middle of some maneuver, it can be disastrous for your quad. So um, the Fury F4 that's on board, that's running everything. The gyros are spot on and everything is well balanced on this frame. It's light enough that you're not going to have a lot of weight and momentum coming back down to the ground in a big maneuver. And what's really cool is you can go way up, come back down close to the ground and have just enough power to make it out. And right there, I just uh, tried to come too low. And it's pretty durable because the weight is light on this quad 
and it feels like a quad that I've had for several weeks and whenever I get a new quad I usually you know you really don't know the characteristics of a quad until you've flown it uh, for a few days and, and I don't like a lot of reviewers that would just get one thing take it out the same day fly it review it it's kind of a farce if you if you're gonna review something you really need to have it and fly it for uh, at least a, a week to be legible for you know legit for the for the uh, for the review and this quad is a is definitely um, one of my favorites that I've ever had my hands on and this is is performing extremely well and even though it got just a tiny bit wet out there it did not fail me um, or nothing failed on this quad I think the TX 200 is pretty good um, it, I think the Unified Pro, if you can get a Unified Pro and put that on there, if you can get the one with the Unified Pro, um, the TBS VTX will be a little better for you. I think it also goes up to a uh, much higher milliwatt, up to like 600. And if you're going to do freestyle out in big fields, that's going to be a little better for range and penetration behind trees. It's not going to break up as much as the TX200 that we have on here, the one that I have. And I am completely stoked on this quad. I think it's definitely five stars. Let's let's head into the studio and talk about it a little closer. All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. And as you guys might have seen on my social media posts, I just put up some photos. Uh, HQ sent me some props, and they pretty much covered my entire desk with their new 2019 props. And I'm super excited because these are three by four props, three by four by three, three inch props. I got some lime green ones here. These things are awesome. They're super smooth. Um, and I'm not kissing HQ's ass by any means because I had the other props that came along with it. And these are 3052s. So they're a little bit more aggressive on the pitch. And, I've, you know, there's been a trend lately to go lower pitch on a lot of the props that are coming out. And HQ has released a lot of props right now that have a much lower pitch, which, you know, in the long run actually give us still a good amount of boost but save us a little bit of extra energy in the battery for a longer flight time which is awesome so if you use a 4s 850 with these you're going to expect like three and a half minutes flight time if you're really ripping on the sticks if you're really punching the throttle it's going to get you around three minutes um, if you're crazy on the sticks and you're really 100 percent throttle the whole time you get under three minutes but if you're just an average joe flyer and you take this out and you're cruising around enjoying the camera view on board and the FPV experience and flying, you're gonna get maybe even close to four minutes. But these are the props to put on uh, any three inch quad out there. And I've got some other props from them that I'm gonna test on the channel as well. And I'll try to put uh, HQ's link down below so you can try some sets of these. I think they're well worth it. Um, much better than the uh, battery sucker props I have here. And these are gym fans, by the way. I'm not sure what model gym fan these are, but eh, one of them, maybe the flames or something. But um, yeah, this frame, it's awesome. It's a carbon frame, unibody on the bottom. And you can put a 4S 1300 on this quad if you want to, but honestly, it flies fairly heavy with the 1300. If you get some 1100s, that might push it into that four minute range if you're looking for that. But if you want the best flying power to rate ratio battery, it's gonna be your 4S 850 on this particular quad. Um, it's great. With these 1408 motors on here, oh my God, the punch out's insane. It's so fast. It's just totally ridiculous. Um, we also have 25 amp ESC, which can handle two, three, and four S. God knows why you would try to fly two S on this, but if you're brand new to flying quads, I wanted to show you guys during the flight test that you can fly this one very mild and just cruise, or you can really rip on the throttle if you want to and do some amazing stuff with a lot of speed um, and ultimate control. So um, speed is nothing without control. I always talk about that. Uh, and that comes back from my, my kiteboarding days when I used to teach people how to kiteboard. But um, yeah, the stack is exactly like the stack on the um, some of the other quads that we had over here, the 249, the 349, or actually the, uh, the 239, excuse me. It's that Fury F4 flight controller and we have Betaflight 3.5 on there. You've got your USB port right here on this side. And 
I do have smart audio on this quad as well. So I'm able to use my sticks. You can go into the menus and I uh, showed you guys that earlier on the screen where you can go in, you can change the bands, the channels, and you can change your power output for your onboard video transmitter, which is really, really cool. So uh, one thing I did to make a change was they have the antenna flat on the top of that frame right there. And I just boosted it up with a zip tie. You can do the same thing. You also in the box have to add on your beeper. So there's a little beeper in the box. All you have to do is plug it in and decide wherever you want to cram it inside the frame. Maybe you want to put it behind the camera. There's a little bit of space there, but it looked a little bit tight in there to me. So I just added it back here for a temporary setup. They also have a spot for a miniature one right here, and they have two little tiny holes that go through for your positive and negative. So if you had a smaller one that would fit that diatone, might, maybe they have some of those available. That would be a super cool spot for that buzzer. I wish they kind of had added that here. Now, another thing about this quad is that it does come with some extra hardware. And I love the hardware that comes from Diatone. They have everything labeled in the box. And one of the coolest experiences about buying Diatone is that everything that you have in the box is very well labeled, um, looks very professional. Every, you can see M2 by five, M2 by six, seven, eight, and nine. So you don't get any of these mixed up. Um, now you do not get prop guards with the three inch model. So yeah, if you want prop guards with that, you might have to retrofit some from something else, but you also get some sort of 3M tape in here, some kind of a little spongy stuff. This looked to me like something that would go on the arms, but I have so many zip ties and everything on here that uh, I can't put these on, but I don't, I don't think I want to add extra weight to the quad. You also get this little harness. This is for your beeper right here. And this plugs into your flight controller and your ESC and comes up like that. Just in case you need an extra one, it's cool. They give you that. They give you two straps. And I talked about this strap before. It's a little bit short, I think. And this one, maybe, maybe this one's longer than the first one that was on the quad. Oh yes. So this is cool. You get the one that came on the quad, which was too short for a larger battery, but Diatone is so awesome that they actually do give you a longer one in there to accommodate that uh, thicker 4S battery. So um, yes, very good news. I didn't even need to use the GEP RC one that's on here. So thank you Diatone for including that. That was a bit of a hurry when I was setting that up this, this morning for you guys. We also have four, four or five extra long, skinny, narrow zip ties for putting up any type of uh, your receiver setup. And I put my receiver wires coming out on the outsides of the arms like this. You can also bring them up off the top, but in this setup, I wanted complete clearance from my receiver to my video, my 5.8. I want to keep those far away as possible because that'll give you just a little less interference. Um, also, you get an extra XT30 and some more hardware. That's really nice that they give you that. Um, and this is the, actually this is the battery side. So if you needed, if you had a battery you wanted to convert that had an XT60 on there, Diatone's nice enough to give you this, which is on the battery side. So that's cool. You could solder up one of those and make it work. But if you buy the 4S A50s like this one right here, it already has it. So no need to do that on most of those battery sizes. So um, you should be pretty much good to go. That's going to be the battery that I recommend um, for this particular quad. That is the best performing battery out of any of the batteries that I have as far as the, the weight distribution, CG, and everything on this quad. Now, one quick note for a lot of the guys that want to ask me questions about, oh man, which one out of the Diatone family do I buy? Should I buy the 249? Should I buy the 239? Um, should I buy the 349? Which one should I buy? If you want my opinion, I, I would buy this one buy the 349 NX. It is the baddest ripper out of these three. Uh, if you want a cruiser, buy this one with prop guards um, built into it. Those are not removable, by the way. So uh, if you want something that's going to be a really rad little micro brushless, I've already reviewed the super tiny one right here, the 249 NX with the carbon frame. This one is probably the best freestyle micro brushless at this size. 
And I say micro brushless because this one is not a whoop and this one really is not considered a whoop either. Um, they don't have any type of ducts surrounding the outside edge motors. Uh, so these are just going to be micro brushless class and then this is moving up to your three inch class. But this is hands down one of the best three inches um, out there. If you're going to ask me, well, which one should I get, the TS-130 or should I get this 239? or 349, I would get the 349 NX over top of the TS-130 all day. The components on here are badass. Um, everything on here performs extremely well. So we're talking about f Ferraris. This would be the Lambo of three inches right here. This, this quad is just ridiculously awesome. And I've got some mud on these motors, but I wanted to give you guys a close up of the motors. These are the Mamba branded motors. And you see that logo right there? That is a Cobra logo. So um, yeah, they don't say diatone on them. These are all Cobra motor right here, 1408 really really awesome motors 4000 kv super hopped up and they're not big enough that they're really battery eaters uh, which i was kind of surprised about and i think that's uh, because it's not a super high kv but they really they're, they're perfect for this airframe and i'm happy that they're now using cobra motors and look how beautiful the hardware is on the bottom here they have this like anodized black part on the top of their bolts. It's a really nice looking hardware. And they have a nice uh, deep nut on the very top. This is not a low profile nut, which I hate because the wrench always falls off. That is a really nice, really nice looking quad uh, all the way around. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the scale and let's get some weigh in going here for you. We'll just zero out the scale, put the quad on there and see what we get. Should be around 130 grams. Nope, just a little more, 140.4 grams. And that's a dry weight without the 4S battery on here. So now let's add the 4S 850. Man, this thing is under 250 grams. It is 242.8 grams. That is awesome. It is under 250 grams with my battery of choice. That is just so super cool. And let's put the large battery on there, the 4S 1300. That's going to get you way up above 250. So that's going to put you up to 300, 299.2.1. Yeah, so that's, um, that's a little bit heavy, in my opinion. I think you guys should definitely stick with the 4S 850. Now, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a close-up before I end this review. Um, this is a Runcam Swift up front right here, uh, micro Swift version, around 600 TVL, and a very, very nice standard camera out there in the FPV community. A lot of people love that camera, and you notice that there is no VTX right here in the stack. They have this little sort of uh, top plate, and it's great for where you can put your receiver. You can run your antennas up top or down bottom like I did here. You do it any which way you'd like to do it, but just behind the camera, there's a piggyback board. And the piggyback is actually the Runcam TX200. So uh, you, you can get upwards of 200 milliwatt with that. It's switchable. So you can go in and do um, 25 milliwatt. I believe it has pit mode as well. So you can change channels without uh, interrupting anybody while they're racing. And on 200, you should have great penetration. I also tested it out for you guys on 25 just to see how this dipole would do on 25 and uh, 200 as well. And I also love these because they have a built-in capacitor, so my video should be pretty good. But out of the field where I was flying, it did have some interference, and that's partially due to the giant metal fence over there at the baseball field. Uh, and there's tons of metal structure around where I was flying that particular flight test. But I'm really happy with what I have here. Um, and I can't say enough about the Diatone 2019 version of the GTR 349. Um, probably one of the best three inch quads to date ever. Take my money on this one. Take my money. I, I would pay for this quad. I would actually pay for a second one if I had broke this one. And uh, this one's gonna probably stay in my collection and not be for sale. Um, I, I do have a couple of the the uh, 239s and while i like this one a lot i like this one better um, because this one is just a whole next level if you're if you're looking to, to upgrade from flying something smaller like a 100 millimeter or 95 millimeter micro brush let's say you had a tiny hawk or something like that and you had a little micro brush and you're ready for a three inch or a five inch 
start here before you go up to a five inch. You won't believe it. Um, it just flies outstanding. And uh, I, I really don't go on and on about how awesome something is unless it really is. So you guys watch my videos, you know that I'm super honest with you, but my stoke factor is at about 900% when I came back from the flight test with this uh, R349. It's just it's this crazy awesome quad. And uh, I think they've hit the ball out of the park here with this one. I would, and especially for the price, it already has five reviews on Banggood and Gearbest. Um, they all five star reviews. I haven't seen a whole lot of um, uh, bad talk about this particular power setup, the frame or any of anything. So I, I think you could be safe to, to put your money down for one of these. If you were gonna buy something um, in that price range, this is probably the best quad you can buy for the money right now uh, for around $140. It's, it's awesome. They also come in black, something called lunacy and white. Um, and they also have this clear, which is kind of my favorite. I like this clear one because that's one of the first ones that I saw them share photos of. Uh, and this was inspired from a man, Kenny Cox, over at Air Arsenal. He's been doing stuff for uh, micro brushless for a very long time. You guys can look up Kenny Cox. He is uh, an awesome designer. So I want to say uh, two thumbs up to Kenny and uh, to Diatone. The guys over at Diatone have a winner here. It's absolutely hands down five stars on all axes. Uh, fun factor might even be like a 10 out of 10. Uh, and I usually do a five point rating scale. So uh, fun factor is really, really high. The durability factor is, is definitely high too. I, I did crash into the ground and roll it and fly out of it a few times. The, uh, the frame itself is very thick. I believe it's four millimeter on the arms. So you're not likely to break this frame. These motors are a little larger than some three inches out there, but you're probably not likely to break that frame. And those are not replaceable arms. But the good thing is that that is gonna be a little lighter setup than having replaceable arms on this particular quad. So uh, lighter means it's gonna fly a little better in the power to weight ratio. So that's what we're looking for. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this review with that said, and uh, I could stand here and talk about the <laughs> R349 all day. It is absolutely outstanding. I love it, and um, God, I just love it. I love this. I love this quad. So anyway, guys, that's enough of me fawning over the the uh, the R349. I want you guys to take care and have a great week. I'm going to uh, charge up some more batteries for this quad, and these HQ props are perfect. So pick up some of these from HQ. You guys will love them. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching my honest reviews. I appreciate it subscribing and uh, watching the channel. And I'm going to bring you more awesome honest reviews coming up and also that uh, YouTube plaque that we're going to open up for you guys this week. So thanks again. I'm Justin Davis. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one.